Hello everybody, my name is Alavar and welcome to Put A Sock In It. Now, another game I found on Game Jolt and I've read some of the reviews about it and it looks pretty cool. So, there's apparently there's quite a few different alternative endings and stuff like that really is my sort of shit. So hopefully with my playthrough, you'll get to see something a little bit different as well. So, that was the sigh by the way. Sigh. I'm locked out in the stairwell. Uh, again. At least there's a window this time. Maybe someone will come find me soon. Oh, it even says help. <laughs> Is that... A, I like the fallout drawing. Very nice. Nope. Everyone left in early to enjoy the weekend, just like I wanted to. If only I could fast forward through this part of my life by pressing the control key, I could in all those games. Then I could be happy again. Okay. I'm not bitter. I just wish someone cared enough to wonder where I was. What the fuck? Nice. Nice. This is even the worst place I've been locked in. We don't think about that, Serena. Well, as usual, I guess it's just me and me. Nice. And Ralph and Jillian. Let's tell stories. Would you guys like that? Yes. Would be that would be nice. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna put on a voice for these guys. Uh, I guess. This story takes place in a magic kingdom just out of town. Oh, I love it there. So, what happens? Princess Ghost. Let's go for the princess one. I'm a lovely princess and everyone loves me. Stable boy, a wizard. Wizard. Well, I'm the all powerful and super evil wizard, Nefario. Nice. And hand me, vile swine. Do you not realize who I am? I am Princess Francesca, daughter of his lordship, the King Titus. And when my father finds out what you've done, he will have you drawn up in a crow's cage. Crow's cage, rather. Princess, please. This attitude is unbecoming of a lady in your position. Just tell me what you want. Want? I want me? Say it already. Ha 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 ha. Whatever I want is already mine. I wanted you here and you are. I wanted a dragon and he serves me. I want a power and I have it. I shall say, Draco of me Draco. And all my enemies are all before me. You should be asking what I have. And the answer is, I have it all. It all belongs to me. And now so do you, because I said so. <gasps> that was my gasp. You are so charming. Did you say dragon? How dare you? Dragon. Did you say dragon? Dragon. You know, the big flying green thing that brought you here? With the huge jaws and the fire breathing. One lazy eye. <laughs> oh, so that was a dragon. I've just never seen one before. How did you happen to come by it, if I may ask? Well, first I bought the flesh of 15 peasants on an XXXL like size cauldron, a followed by the left wings of 26 bats. Then I just seasoned to taste with the right combination of spider legs, rat tails, and leeches. After that, it's only a matter of mixing in my 11 special secret herbs and spices, purifying and distilling the essential oil, then casting it into his one ring of power. Ooh, shiny. But wait, how does the ring give you dragons? Uh, it just does. Wow, you're so smart and powerful. You have your own castle and you can even make me join. What more could a girl ask for? Yeah, that's what I say. I know this sounds sudden, Mr. Rosa, but I think I love you. What? Really? I mean, of course, naturally. And you're only beginning to discover my greatness. Just wait until you see what I do to my enemies. Oh, wizard. Nefario. Right. Draco me Draco. What? Where did you learn that incantation? You told me yourself, you fool. Wow, just look at that dragon. It's a dragon, it's right there, it's big. Gah! Aha, this is why you're so curious about my dragon. Well, now you have him. Yeah, you go, dragon, go. Eat his stupid face. Dragon, you're not going, dragon. Why isn't the dragon going? 
Ha ha ha. You say you truly you believe that my dragon would do that. What you told him, he'd wear the ring of power for him to listen to you. Um, I just wanted to eat with my dragon. I was out of line with summoning and the face eating. Hi, Mr. Dragon. You are sure are impressive. Too late. Ah, no, come, Mr. Dragon. How about here? I'm really going to take this old guy's size. He smells even worse than you do. Ah. And you smell really nice, in fact. Ah. Princess, this is just pathetic. Dragon, if you do the honors. Crap, this will suck. Ah. It hurts, it stings, it burns. There. We didn't learn anything at all this time, did we? Speak for yourself, I learned things, many things. I'm just not telling you. Stingy. Stingy. Change characters. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, ghost. I must be ghost, be afraid. I'll go with the spit stable boy this time. I'm a humble stable boy just poking at some hay with my pitchfork and came for our animal friends. I did say I was a ghost. Boo! Ah! Wait, please don't hurt me. I just work here. I'm not like one of those jerks with money and opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet you'll do really good good work here, Ralph. What's with the aggressiveness? I'm just here to feed the animals occasionally shoo away someone I find sleeping in my stables. I truly live a modest life, dear ghost. Silence, stable boy, you can't fool me. I know all about you, Ralph, or should I say, Georgie? <gasps> yes, I mean, ah! You can't begin to comprehend the power and knowledge found in the afterlife. What? What else do you know about me? What have you been doing? I know what you've been doing every night when you think no one is looking. Oh god, and you, you just watch. Not that! <laughs> That's not. <laughs> That's not impressed anyone, by the way. Oh, what then? We're talking about how you've been skimming fresh veggies from the kitchen. You made nice with the crew. Now you visit often and pretend to be interested in vicious choices and necosis. I, I don't even know if I said that right. Lulling them into false sense of security. And no one's the wise hours later when one discovers a parsnip missing and one should have been a carrot elsewhere or even a cabbage. I know it all, Georgie. But, but, but. Those are not for me. They are for my animals. Their appetites, they are insatiable. Please. I only thought I'd give my favourite pig, Smokey, Smokey, Smokey the pig. Some fresh carrot for change last month. Next thing I know, Pig and Shelton also pigs are ganging up on me. I still have the bruises if you want to see. They stole, Smokey. they stole Smokey's carrot and told me there'd be more where that came from or there would be, quote, how to pay. They just stare at me whenever I pass by, watching, waiting. Haha, <laughs> and the raspberry rhub rhubarb pie you stole last week, was that two for your animals? Well, no. That was really just good, and I wanted some. You are beyond words. I say, whose ghost even are you? Countess asks, the cook! No, the horse! Oh, you don't recognize me anymore. Is that it? Well, how about now? No, that really doesn't change anything. Say, do you mind not wanting me for a while? I kind of have work to do. How could we forget the, those that help us most? Look again. This long nose that was always there for you to lean on. These hooves that bore your weight a thousand times over. Samantha? No, not Samantha, you're the buffoon. It is I, Chelsea, your once proud mare. Wait, Chelsea? That horse I had when I was 12. <laughs> oh yes, Georgia, I haven't forgotten you. But why did you make such a fuss about the food I've been stealing? I don't remember you making all that effort on my account. Well, I'm a stable boy now. Things are different. Even if they can be pushy, the animals are so lucky to have an upstanding and caring individual such as you looking after them. I remind myself of that each night before I go to bed. Yep, lucky, lucky, lucky. Murderer! Enjoying yourself there, are you? Well, I suppose it can't be nice. That's great, I'm happy to hear it. You murdering scum. <laughs> what, me? Murder? No, no, I wouldn't have a fly, honest. Don't try that at me, you killed me, you little bastard. <laughs> I hurt my knee that one time when we were out riding and you shot me. In the face. Well, but you were hurt. I couldn't just leave you like that. Really, Georgie? Is that how you'd like to be treated if you got hurt? Just have yourself executed? Well, no, but... Oh, ouch. You're not looking too good there, Georgie. It really hurts. 
I guess I have to put you out of your misery then. Wait. You okay, Georgie? Do you want a drink of water or anything? Something to make you feel more comfortable? Uh, nope, I didn't think that's what you needed. Need? I think what you need is a little killing. <laughs> that led your pain once it for good. There. That's what I get called beaten by a dead horse. Ha. Oh, I was never here. Does this lesson have to do with horsepower? I think it's bigger than that. Elephant power. I think we're talking about the great karmic force of balance throughout the universe. Goodness and kindness is rewarded, but you will have to pay for doing terrible things. Like shooting your horse in the face. Yeah, that's not a nice thing to do, is it? So saying that our past will always catch up with us, or we should be really scared. Ugh, don't go to that dark place, Serena. It's hard to come back from. Yeah, don't end up like Georgie. Lesson learned. Beat a dead horse. We learned one out of seven lessons with this pair. Oh, holy shit. Cool. So this has put a sock on it. I quite like the concept of this game. It's really cool. And... You know, if there's only one out of seven of the choices with just these two characters, I have no idea how many other choices and sort of storylines and lessons that there are for the other characters. That's all the time I have for this episode. I might revisit this game and try and um, bash through some of the other storylines as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for this game if you want to try it for yourself. Maybe find a di few different storylines to me, or lessons learned rather. Um, so yeah, let's put a sock in it. As always, guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.